as is typical of most smartphones, you'll find the power button on the right side of the screen and a volume rocker on the left. It's got a combination dual SIM and microSD slot on the right side of its all-metal unibody chassis, which has such thin edges that it actually feel a little strange in the hand when the phone is naked. When its case is off, Oppo continues its much appreciated tradition of including a clear gel phone case in the box, it also has a significant camera bump, made all the more noticeable by its wide, dual camera nature. Music lovers will be happy to know that a 3.5mm headphone jack has been mercifully included on the bottom of the unit to the right of its micro USB port. Yes, you read that correctly, it appears that Oppo isn't ready to jump on the USB-C bandwagon just yet. Along the top and bottom edges of the phone you'll find some fairly subtle iPhone 7 style antenna lines, which were barely noticeable on our black review unit. The Oppo R11s offers a hefty 64GB of onboard storage, and that can be expanded by a further 256GB thanks to its aforementioned microSD card slot. Likewise, the fact that the R11s already has a screen protector on it right out of the box is something we love. It's a thoughtful touch that saves customers from the hassle of purchasing and then awkwardly applying one themselves. It's the kind of practice we wish more phone manufacturers would adopt. The Oppo R11s may have more screen real estate available than its predecessor, the phone's display now takes up 85% of its front, but its resolution remains in the 1080p realm, 2160 by 1080 Thankfully, it's got a gorgeous AMOLED screen with a pixel density of 401 pi offering inky blacks, vibrant colors and exceptional brightness. In the past, we've noted Oppo's tendency to oversaturate the colors on its displays, but that isn't the case here.